My heart played a big role in bringing the BMW G310R home and as most of you know I went to the BMW Motor Art showroom to book the G310GS but I fell in love with the R and brought it home all this while my brain questioned this decision and this could be only answered by a proper long distance ride where I took the G310R from Navi Mumbai to Hyderabad and back This ride was done after the first service where the tires were running on nitrogen and the engine was running on the Castrol Power 1 Ultimate 10W50 superbike engine oil. Initially I took the Navi Mumbai Lonavala Talegaon Pune Patas route which is a mix of hill highway and city ride. Avoid opening the throttle wide on this kind of routes as you will encounter plenty of intersections and villages where you will face traffic on the wrong way. Post Bhigwan and Indapur the highway tries to straighten up where I was easily cruising at 100 kilometers per hour on the G310R. This is one of the big changes that the G310R has inspired me to do where I can confidently cruise at 100 kilometers per hour. The engine effortlessly does this with enough juice left in the RPM range. But what inspires me more is the brilliant braking. I always say this that apart from horsepower, we riders can never have enough of headlight and braking power. But with the amazing feedback, I am really happy with the brakes on the G310R where you can count on the brakes even while cruising at triple digit speeds. After spending some more time on the saddle, I realized that the speedo was conveniently rising to 120 kilometers per hour where the G310R was rock steady and still in its comfort zone. Even at this speed, the suspension does a really good job of leveling up the road undulations. This really reminded me of the CBR250R and of course the Ninja 300. I personally have got more saddle time experience with the 250R which kind of glides at 110 km per hour. No offense to Honda riders but I strongly feel that Honda India could have done better with its present 300cc lineup as the CBR 250R has set the bar pretty high almost a decade back. The Pune Solapur highway is in excellent shape and the G310R was munching miles after miles. It was me who took regular hydration breaks every 150 to 200 kilometers as I didn't want my body to get affected by the sun and the heat wave. This also brings me to the motorcycle's performance in heat and continuous riding and I'm happy to report that the temperature gauge was comfortably sitting in the 82 to 84 degree Celsius zone. Also the power on superbike engine oil never showed any signs of resistance in this endurance run. But soon I realized that wind blast at 120 kilometers per hour can quickly bring in fatigue for the rider. Plus I wanted to enjoy the surrounding environment which you cannot do at high speeds as high speeds try to narrow your vision. Solo motorcycle rides are kind of meditation for me where I enjoy every bit of it. Like one of my roadside stops beside this historic structure Naldurg which is a historic fort that is still standing strong and it stretches to almost 3 kilometers. This fort has got an interesting history and you will also get to see a dam and water body on the other side. The road passing this section is filled with patchwork and potholes which is not a big issue on the G310R. Of course a Himalayan or the GS would have done a better job here as they specialize in murdering them. But once you bypass Omerga the roads open up again where you can zoom past Hamnabad and Zahirabad. The complete stretch from Solapur to Hyderabad has always struggled with good food options. I faced the same when I did this on my RTR 180 in 2013 when the roads were bad. Later the roads improved when I did the Hyderabad ride on my RTR 200 but leaving a few good handful eating places you are left with eating options that provide substandard taste and food. You are welcome to comment good restaurants on the route as I will link a few in the description. All of this should not bother you as you are on the way to the city of Biryani. After multiple visits to Hyderabad I can assure non Hyderabadis that this city has a lot more to offer than just biryani as every time I visit here I get to explore something new right from biscuits to ice cream ice creams remind me that the G310R runs hot inside the city and in no time it crosses 95 degrees celsius the radiator fan kicks in at around 102 to 103 degrees celsius where the heat is diverted towards the rider I'm telling you this is not a pleasant feeling especially after doing 600 plus kilometers of highway riding on a summer day. I managed to crawl across the city to the other end where I must appreciate the light clutch action and of course the light motorcycle where you don't need to break your muscle to move it around. It seems this journey was not planned to have a easy ending as in the last leg of the final 30 kilometers Google map took me over a off-road shortcut and to make it worse it started raining heavily. My GoPro which is 5 generations old becomes useless after the sun goes down hence I failed to record my struggle over here. I really thank BMW for providing ample ground clearance which exceeded my expectations and I have done a fair bit of soft roading on the R without scraping the belly. 
On the other hand, I did not expect them to cheap out on tires, which flatlines the overall experience in wet conditions. The rims are strongly built and they don't feel fragile over bad roads. But I am concerned about the upside down forks, where I am planning to get some good sleeves to keep them away from dirt and dust. As it can be seen, I have a lot to share and discuss, including the fuel efficiency, which deserves a separate video, as I have a lot of interesting data and observations to share. If not all, then this ride has definitely cleared up a lot of stuff for me and I am rejoicing my decision of bringing the G310R home. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.